Hello, and welcome to another video tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to identify uh, conflicts between uh, mods and how to address them. Uh, today's example, I'm going to be using the Mark 47 mod by Lien. Uh, to the, if you want to follow along, it will be available on Discord and any of the tools I use below uh, in the video description. Uh, we're only going to be using one tool. You can guess it's X edit. Best editing tool ever. Creation kit light. Uh yeah, like with all my other tutorials, essentially, we're gonna use this to uh make changes or or create a patch essentially to deal with conflict. So that whether uh uh normally, you know, or like just normal install, if you're using like Vortex NMM or data folder, if you're using model organizer two. You have to add it to this executable list like always so yeah once you do that run it this video is going to serve as like a, a dual purpose it's going to show you how you can merge essentially uh changes patches make and how to identify conflicts and then resolve them uh so yeah so, okay let it run Okay, now that the uh, program's done loading all the files, uh, first things first, we're gonna identify where the conflicts are. So, like I said, people have come to me and asked me, hey, why is something not working? Like I said before, nine times out of 10, it's a conflict. So as you can see here, we have four of the uh, four Mark 47s here, all with different changes you have the vanilla one that has nothing added to it you have the jsrs version the visg version and the tactical reload version uh, all these do their own little thing and if you were to load it these two patches would be overwritten and nothing would happen like or none of these changes would be met only the tactical reload changes would be uh affected or uh uh add uh, added to the game so easiest way to do this, go to the original weapon mod or the mod that you want to change. And like I said, in this one, I'm using the weapon. You're going to copy this override into a new ESP Excel. I go seven. There. Now. You see it's a deep red and you know it's very uh, dark it means there's a lot of changes to it that aren't present in uh, essentially the uh the higher up version in the load order and that there also can be like uh conflicts you want to look for these when you are trying to clean your load order of like messy uh things that are like messed up stuff um so yeah uh Next thing we need to do is add the original masters to this. So, arm keyword, tactical reload, and JSRS. Click off, click back on. You can see those three were added. So now we can make the changes that we see fit. Uh, so, say I just wanted, or uh, I, I want the VizG stuff and the uh, partial reload from tactical reload. I can do that then you can delete this patch but um in this case we're gonna use all of them so they look perfect now look at that nice and green perfect that means everything's good everything's clean nothing's all uh, all messed up you know game's gonna be perfect you know uh as a point i should make uh, i should have picked probably a better mod for this but um if you are using like a caliber complex patch that I've made, uh, you will have to go and copy the or drag over the DNAM ammo here. So you see, you go to DNAM ammo, then drag it over to your new patch that you just made, and you'll have to do that also with the where's the LNAM here? LNAM NPC ammo list. As an example, of this say this is the caliber patch. You just drag it over, boom, done. Uh, okay. 
So now you know how to solve those conflicts. Uh, one last thing, if you're merging patches, you have to make sure you're doing it correctly. Now with some mods, like uh, Tactical Reload, sometimes will affect uh, MISC items, which uh, these G patches will also deal with. What you want to do in these scenarios is copy over the this G stuff first. Copy this over first into your new patch that you just made. And then copy over the stuff from uh, deep copy as override or uh, deep copy as override with overriding into it. that and then look it'll give you do you want to overwrite most of, yes if in this case you do yes to okay so now it overwrote it overwrote itself essentially uh and that's it so now you have a patch that does the work of three in one I have a patch that will change the sound to the jsrs sound it'll add the tactile reload and give the g tagging Super simple, um, super easy, you know. Uh, XA is a tool I think a lot more modders or even people who are, you know, new to mine should get used to. Uh, it's a great, like I said, it's a great program for identifying problems with your loader, any conflicts you have, whatever. Just my seal of approval. So yeah. Uh, with this done, uh, the gun will, like I said, do all those things and that's it. All you have to do now is obviously make sure that this patch is loaded after anything else that would affect it. And if it, if there are other things that affect it, add them to the oh, There you go. Um, so yeah, that's that. I hope you found this video, uh, informative. If you did, uh, like, uh, subscribing and hitting the bell greatly appreciated uh share this with people who have had this problem that you know of and hey here's a solution to that problem um if you uh if you haven't join the community discord wonderful place we're like almost like 900 members now it's crazy growing the community is growing so fast um check out my links below twitter instagram facebook nexus tiktok uh all those wonderful platforms down there and uh, if you want to support me the mods i make the content i create patreon's there you know uh you support me there you get something out of it not like a you know like a twitch sub or whatever where you get some dummy mode something you get you know but uh yeah uh, on that note hope you have a good rest of your morning evening afternoon night wherever you're watching us and see you in the next one